This is MedCat here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the psych soch section of the MCAT, and specifically take a look on this what's on the MCAT exam that we're looking at right here. And specifically, I want to tell you that you probably don't need to take a sociology class to do well in the psych soch section. And to prove this, I'm going to scroll down to page four here. We'll take a look at kind of the breakdown of the section. We see we have 65% of psychology, 30% of sociology, and 5% biology. And just so you're aware, that biology is going to be things that kind of pertain specifically to your nervous system, so usually parts of your brain, things like that. But as far as the sociology, sometimes people kind of freak out because they haven't taken a sociology class. Well, if we think about the math of this, if we think that there are four sections on the MCAT and the psych soch section is one-fourth of that, if we take one-fourth of the exam multiplied by 30% of that one-fourth, we get one-fourth times one-third, and that's actually going to be only one-twelfth of the entire exam, as opposed to something like biochemistry, for example, which is about 30% of two sections, and that's going to be a lot more bang for your buck to take a biochemistry class than a sociology class. Another thing I want to mention is that the concepts in sociology versus biochemistry are very different in that most people their freshman year of college need no buildup in terms of classes to take sociology because it's an introductory class. Whereas biochemistry usually need intro introductory biology as well as some significant organic chemistry background to take. So I recommend what you do instead of take a sociology class is just go get a review book on sociology. Usually they're bundled, like for example with Kaplan, they have both psychology and sociology in the same book, and you can just study from there. And that's gonna be a lot more focused and be uh, a lot more time efficient and probably cheaper at the end of the day than going out and taking a sociology class. Now that being said, if you're really interested in sociology, I think that's definitely something you should explore. But if you're just looking to take the MCAT, and thinking that taking sociology is mandatory, I'm here to tell you that it's not. That's it for today's MedCat video. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and check out my comprehensive amino acid playlist, which can be found in the link in the description below.